What's up guys, it's the Modfather66 Back again with another ESO noob tutorial Today I'm going to be bringing you a little video Just for um Them times when you, you know, you're know crafting meals and drinks for provisioning bits and what have you and You're always stuck and you need like One cheese or one small game or shit like that Well, instead of actually having to Self-loathe and Posting zone chat has anybody got one small game, a lot of fish, a little bit of a dick. What I'm going to show you today is I can come to a place and you can actually steal whatever materials you need and not get a bounty for it. Now, all you're going to need is either one of two things to be able to get to this area. The area we're in is Cold Harbor, which you get to on the main quest, so you need to travel there towards the end of the main quest. Or have a friend that has got this area unlocked and you can travel to them and it'll unlock for you no matter what level you are and basically you can steal whatever you want in Cold Harbor and you'll not get a bounty for it at the end of the day there's not going to be any authorities in the uh, Daedric Plain so I'm just going to take you for a quick run round where I come to farm if I'm just wanting to start a random dungeon I'm waiting for to find a group Generals come in and have a quick run around talk about provisioning materials. When you come into Way Shrine in the Hollow City, you'll uh, you'll find this stuff. There's not of swords and stuff. You've got this woman that's obsessed with cheese. Cheese is in quite a lot of recipes. I'm surprised I'm not. Shit. Cheese. Uh, this is where you normally find some small game. I mean, it's just poultry. What there is. Oh, a bit small game. I'm going to rob all these vendors, no matter how small it is, just take it because you never know it's going to be like one apple short or one rye short. It really is worth looting everything. Generally, but Oh, it's not a dude. My bad. Ammunition. Well, and once you've robbed that bit, you can across this bridge. Every down this part with the sacks and backpacks and what have you. If you're going for um, provisioning, well, for provisioning materials, try not to pick up all random bits of armor that you find. It's just a habit that I've, used, that I've got for picking up everything that I find. Now you want to cut down this part. This is the library. Up these steps. Then we could go to the pub. Then that part there. For a long hard day killing Deidre and Wemmer and what have you. Every man and woman, you know, what have you. Likes to go to the pub. I'm gonna go to Shining Star. I call the barrels, crates, everything. Just loot, absolute everything you can get your hands on. Only raw materials like stew and stuff, yeah. You can eat it and it'll be the bonuses, but we are here just for the materials. Basket. Storeroom down this part. Some cheese, everyone's up to some cheese. Flower, if you get a stack of that, which, um, I don't know what stack is, it's over 200, same item. I know this part might be a pretty obvious tip to people that know it. I'm not sure everything's obvious, but I've come to Cold Harbor so many times and I didn't realize I can actually steal everything. Themselves. But was worth it. Defeating the mad architect couldn't have been um, There's the some draws. Which, um, yeah, you can find respite like this. It's always look worth looting. I like the recipes because you've got on multiple characters. Just teach it to the character before you go on the main. Makes it easy. Some stuff. Okay. It's just 
Nå, vi er fra. Nå, vi er fra. Det er jo lidt for meget her. Parkeret shop. This is where you find the the achieve furniture or special furniture. This door, the luxury furniture. If there's um, is any any items going free that you see on Facebook? Like oh. Um, the last one was the uh, the Daedric Gone. Come to this door to get for free. You will see people in guild traders and online trying to sell them for gold, but you know, for free. Should've done this bit. Barrel. Oh. I'm going to go to the uh, crafting section, blacksmith table and stuff. Go to the table. There's a few traders around there that stock these items as well. This to me, this part near um, farm material, this is where the craft bag from uh, the ESO Plus membership really comes down to. The unlimited storage. The ESO Plus, I didn't really see the point in like paying, like, what is it, like £8 or whatever. But when you're getting in, more into the game, from like an early character point of view, I didn't see point. I was constantly going to the bank and positing stuff. Stuff go up. Yeah. But now since I've had it, I've had it for a couple of months. I really wish I'd have had it from the start. Because it doesn't just cover that one character. The craft bag covers all your characters. So if you've got two or three characters, maybe even more, you can have a eight. You ain't got to keep pre materials in your bank and we're throwing it from the the other character that you're playing on everything just there for crafting and versioning that this is the point where I go straight back to the beginning and you can just um, you can log out and restart from where you are but say I could just start from a fresh cycle Will this I go straight back to the beginning now, I know you're thinking like, uh, yeah, you've been around, so you've got like, I don't know, 30 items, whatever many I've picked up, 34. What's good in that? It's also, uh, Nernru also spawns around this part as well. Can you hear some? Get 50 or so of these, you're laughing if you're going to guild trader. Put a thousand for it. Oh, you're going to open the door. Log out. And always got to wait for these. It's 10 seconds now, now it's as far. It should be actually pull it straight out. I know you're not guaranteed for the certain act for whatever item you need, but whenever you're looting the boxes or crates or barrels or whatever, it's always a random spawn. Remember that, so it, it could be absolutely anything. The thing that I like to come for most is a small game. I fucking hate running around. It's like shooting or rabbit and stuff trying to find it. So my eyes aren't the best, I'll be honest. Just got to prevent looting like this. 
if you are after certain items like small game or poultry or um, white meat or whatever, it is worth just coming here and stealing it, walking straight back out and doing it again because it will spawn back in. Anyway guys, I'm trying to keep these um, ESO videos as short as possible, but that'll do it for this one. If it's helped you out, if you've learnt something new, um, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I will be back more... Um, oh, I can't um, talk and play at the same time. Well, it's bad for you to talk and play at the same time, but there you go. Bit shit. Yeah, I will be back with more um, Elder Scrolls Online videos for new tutorials. I know there's a lot of people getting into the game like I am. So if it's helped you out, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. As always, I've been the more 566, and I'll see you all on the next video.